Welcome! In this video, I will look at four DAX expressions relating to the rounding of figures being round, round up, round down and M round, which can be used in Power BI. I will start with round and the first thing I will do is go to Microsoft's documentation relating to round. Looking at round, it rounds a number to the specified number of digits. Its syntax is round, then a number, then num digits. What do these terms mean? Well, number is the number you want to round and num digits is the number of digits to which you want to round. A negative value rounds digits to the left of the decimal point and a value of zero rounds to the nearest integer and it returns a decimal number. If I scroll down the page, we have some remarks. It says, if num digits is greater than zero, then the number is rounded to the specified number of decimal places. If num digits is zero, the number is rounded to the nearest integer. And if num digits is less than zero, the number is rounded to the left of the decimal point. So let's turn to Power BI and see some of this in practice. In Power BI, I have set up a table and in the table, I have made up some figures and called one column location and the other temperature. In each case, for each place, the figures always range from the same digits positive to the same digits negative. This is my data set and as you can see, I've got a column called location and I've got a column called temp and it is the temp column that I will use in this report. So going back to the report view, to speed things up, I have set up a measure called temperature and it contains the maximum values in the temp field and that gives us these figures here in the temperature column. Okay, back to round. I have set up a measure called round and into that measure I have put the temperature in our numbers field and I have put the digit zero into the num digits section. So for this first example, I'm looking to round the figures to an integer. If I now add round to the table, what should happen is the temperature figures should all round up to the nearest integer number and it looks good. For place one, 10.258, it has rounded to 10 and minus 10.258 has rounded to minus 10. If we look at place two, where we've got a value of 20.5, we can see that round has rounded this up to 21. But when the number is minus 20.5, then it rounds it down to minus 21. Let's have a look at a second example using round. Here I've set up a measure called round one and into round again, I still have my temperature in the numbers field. And now I have a one in the num digits field. This means I want to round the figures to one decimal place. Let's put that measure into the table. The figures have rounded to one decimal place with the figures being rounded up or down dependent upon the trailing figures. You can see that for place one, that when the figure is positive 10.258, then it has rounded up to 10.3 and negative 10.258 has rounded down to minus 10.3. We can contrast that with place three, whereby 9.51 has rounded down to 9.5, whereas minus 9.51 has rounded up to minus 9.5. As we've seen, a positive num digits tell us how many decimal places should remain. From Microsoft's documentation, the num digits can be negative. So let's look at a third example, which has a negative num digits figure. So again, I have set up a new measure and called this one round minus one. 
and this time I have changed the num digits section to minus one. If I now put this measure into the table, I can see that the rounding has occurred before the decimal point and in doing so it rounds to the nearest multiple of 10. Let's look at our figures. For place one we've got 10.258 and it's rounded to the nearest multiple of 10 which in this case is 10 with minus 10.258 rounding up to minus 10. In summary with round we need two parameters the number and then the value to which the number should be rounded. To round to an integer, then num digits should be zero. To round to a decimal place, then num digits is positive. And if rounding to a figure before the decimal place, then num digits is negative. Next, I will look at round up. Looking at Microsoft's documentation for round up, it says round up rounds a number up away from zero. The syntax is round up a number, then num digits. Our parameters are number, a real number that you want to round, and num digits, the number of digits to which you want to round. A negative value for num digits rounds to the left of the decimal point. If num digits is zero or is omitted, number is rounded to the nearest integer. It returns a decimal number. And if we scroll down to the remarks, it says round up behaves like round, except that it always rounds a number up. As it acts in the same way as round, I will speed up some explanations in the next section of the video. Returning to Power BI, I have set up a measure called round up and round up contains the temperature measure in our number section and into the num digits section I have put zero because I'm looking to return an integer. If I add this to the table, you can see that for place one, for 10.258, it has rounded it up to 11. And for negative 10.258, again, it has rounded it to minus 11. It is rounding away from zero. I have created another measure called round up one. And this time, all I've done is in my round up expression, I have changed the digit from a zero to a one as I am looking to round up to one decimal place. I add this to the table and you can see that for place one with a temperature of 10.258, it has rounded it up to 10.3 and for minus 10.258 it has rounded it to minus 10.3 as it's rounding away from zero. I have one more round up measure example. I have a measure called round up minus one and into this round up expression I have my temperature but in the num digits section, I've changed it to minus one as I am looking to round to one point before the decimal point. I add that to my table for place one. You can see that 10.258 rounds up to 20 and minus 10.258 rounds to minus 20 because it's rounding away from zero. So in summary for round up, round up looks to round a number up away from zero. Let's now have a look at round down. Returning to Microsoft's documentation, we can see that round down rounds a number down towards zero. So it's the opposite of round up. Its syntax is round down, number, then num digits. In its parameters, number is a real number that you want rounded down. And num digits is the number of digits to which you want to round. 
Negative rounds to the left of the decimal point and zero to the nearest integer. It returns a decimal number. And in the remarks, we can see that round down behaves like round, except that it always rounds a number down. Returning to Power BI, here I have set up a measure called round down and round down equals round down. And then in the number section, I have put my temperature. And then in the num digit section, I have put zero as I'm looking to round down to the nearest integer. If I add this to my table, for place one, it has rounded 10.258 down to 10, and it has rounded minus 10.258 to minus 10, as it is rounding towards zero. Let's look at another couple of examples using round down. Here I have a measure called round down one and into round down I have my temperature and then I've changed the num digits figure to one. As I'm looking to round down to one decimal place, I'll add this to my table. For place one, 10.258 has been rounded down to 10.2 and minus 10.258 has been rounded to minus 10.2 because it's getting rounded towards zero. Let's just have a quick look at a third round down example. I've set up a measure and called it round down minus one. So this time into round down, I have changed the num digits figure to minus one. As I'm looking to round to the left of the decimal point to the nearest 10 multiple. So adding this to my table. This time, let's look at the example for place four. Here we have 19.49 and rounding down to one place before the decimal point, it becomes 10. And for minus 19.49, it becomes minus 10. And if we look at place three, for both the positive 9.51 and the negative 9.51, in both instances, they round to zero. So in summary, round down rounds a number towards zero. The last rounding DAX expression, which I will look at in this video, is M round. Returning to Microsoft's documentation for M round, it says M round returns a number rounded to the desired multiple. For M round, we have a number, then a multiple. The number is the number to round and the multiple is the multiple of significance to which you want to round the number. It returns a decimal number and in the remarks it says M round rounds up away from zero. If the remainder of dividing number by the specified multiple is greater than or equal to half of the value of the multiple. We'll see an example of this in our Power BI report. And one point to highlight, which is perhaps not clear on the page, but if we look further down, there's an example called error. What should be considered when using M round is that both the number and the multiple must be of the same sign. So both should be positive or negative. Let's go back to Power BI. In Power BI, in the temperature column, I have both positive and negative figures. So to deal with the issue of both signs in M round requiring to be the same, I will use an if statement. Please note that if your number and your multiple are of the same sign, then you don't need an if statement. I only need it here as I have a signage issue. I'm going to show you quickly what would happen if you ignore the fact that your signs need to be the same way. I have this measure called M round, no if, and into it I have put M round plus the temperature and I have put the multiple to be 0 0.5.
if I try to put this into my table, as you see, I get an error with my visual. Therefore, my M round measure says if the temperature is greater than or equal to zero, then for M round, we are going to put in the temperature and the multiple I will use is 0.5. Else, if it's less than zero, then I want to M round the temperature to minus 0 0.5. So here what I'm looking to do is round the temperature to the nearest 0 0.5 multiple, which means I'm looking for each figure to either round to the nearest integer or round to the nearest 0 0.5 decimal place. So let's put this measure into the table. Here we can see that place one with 10.258 for M round, it rounds it up to 10.5. And for minus 10.258, it rounds it down to minus 10.5, being the nearest multiple, as minus 10.258 is closer to minus 10.5 than it is to 10. If I go to place two, we can see that there is no change to the figures as it contains a multiple of 0 0.5. Whereas if we go to place 5, 12.75 rounds to 13 and it rounds to 13 rather than 12.5 as it's rounded away from zero as instructed in the Microsoft documents. So to think of it this way, if you keep subtracting 0 0.5 from 12.75, you eventually get to a remainder of 0 0.25. The remainder 0 0.25 is half of 0 0.5. So according to the Microsoft documentations, the figure should be rounded up away from zero, hence why 12.75 gets rounded to 13 rather than 12.5. The same applies with minus 12.75, rounding down to 13. Again, it's rounding away from zero. In summary, M round takes the number and a multiple and rounds the number to the nearest multiple. There are other DAX expressions which you can use when rounding figures. For example, int, trunk, ceiling and floor to name a few and I covered these DAX expressions in separate videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.